Hey, bro. Hit my intro. What's happening, my visionaries? It's your man, J. Rock. I'm back in effect. I'm live and direct, and I'm coming at your neck with that ain't nothing. Video, 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 baby. Ah. The video, man, as always, just like, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, then just do it if you want to do it, because Jesus said this is the right thing to do. What's happening, my visionaries? It's your man, J. Ron, man. Back up in the same with indeed another video, man. Today, I'm about to check out Joni Mitchell, Coyote, The Last Waltz Edition. Now, I usually have a rule, a stipulation that I don't listen to the live version of the tracks prior to listening to the studio version. But today, I'm going to make an exception for this rule as this is a rare occasion. Um, so, I think... Previous Joni Mitchell song I've did was Big Yellow Taxi. Uh, I definitely enjoyed that song. I mean, she has such an a, alluring sort of heroin quality with her voice, and then I love her her lyrical structure to her songs as well. So uh, I haven't listened to too many Joni Mitchell songs, but I'm I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to see this and and and, and um, see what this is pertaining to and see what this is about. So without further ado, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and put on my headphones of truth. Bam! We gonna do what it do. Joni Mitchell, Coyote, The Last Waltz. Let's do it. Joni Mitchell, right. I always love the folksy inflections of the composition as well. We just come from such different sets of circumstance. I'm up all night in the studios and you're early on your range. You'll be brushing out a brood mare's tail while the sun is ascending. And I'll just be getting home with my real to real. There's no comprehending just how close to the bone and the skin and the eyes. Love the, the, love the brushes on the drums. Still feel so alone and still feel related like stations in some relay. Oh, not a, a hit and run driver, no, no, racing away. You just pick up a hitcher, a prisoner of the white lines on the freeway. Mm. Love these bright keys in the background as well. Sound like a lap steel. Farmhouse burning down. In the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night. We roll right past that tragedy. Till we pulled into some roadhouse lights. Where a local band was playing. The locals were up kicking and shaking on the floor. The next thing I know, that coyote's at my door. He pins me in a corner and he won't take no. He drags me out on the dance floor and there. And close and slow Now he's got a woman at home He's got another woman down the hall He seems to want me anyway mm. Why, Jeff, So it's a metaphor so Lead me on that way You just picked up a hitcher Prisoner of the white lines On the freeway Love how sullen and sparse this is. Right in the face on the road to Belgene near my old hometown. He went running through the whisker we chasing some prize down, and a hawk was playing with him. Coyote was jumping straight up and making passes. Yeah, those same eyes just like yours under your dark glasses, privately probing the public rooms, peeking through like the alliteration number doors. Where the players lick their wounds and take their temporary lovers And their pills and powders to get them through this passion play No regrets, Coyote, 
I just get off up a ways. You just picked up a hitcher, a prisoner of the white lines. A little, little slight chorus pedal on the guitar. Coyote's in the coffee shop. He's staring a hole in his scrambled eggs. He picks up my scent on his fingers. While he's watching the waitress's legs, he's too far from the Bay of Fundy. The Mapaloosa's in eagles and tides, the air-conditioned cubicles, and the carbon ribbon rise are spelling it out so clear. Either he's gonna have to stand and fight, or take off out of here. I tried to run away myself. Man, this instrumentation, man. Loving it. This flame, you put her in this Eskimo, in this hitcher, in this prisoner of the fine white lines, of the white lines, on the free, free way. so definitely enjoyed that uh man this is she her music possesses such an intriguing quality to it man i just i, I really don't know uh, again i use this 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 sort of idiom a lot but this sort of je ne sais quoi that it has something that's so alluring but i can't necessarily articulate what it is particularly about it uh, it's, it's so the composition is so sullen and so sparse yet it, it, it seems to have this sort of you know, effervescence to it, to where it's kind of jovial, even though the lyrics may not be uh, denoting that, but uh, something about the the nature of the composition, the nature of the arrangement, and the, the way that it's being played, something about it just feels jovial, just feels uh, like one, it really feels like one stream of, con it's, it's almost a stream of conscience to me, I mean, just in, in, as it pertains to the just the flow of the track. It just really seems to flow seamlessly through one continuous, uh, uh, you know, in continuous perpetuity. So, I mean, I really, I really do definitely, I definitely did enjoy this, but something about her music, man, it kind of puts me in the same, similar vein of, you know, Lou Reed and, you know, Leonard Cohen and, and those other artists and similar artists as well that don't necessarily sing or Bob Dylan to a degree, but don't necessarily sing, but they more, it, it's a poetic musing, that they do it's it's very poetic it's it's that's the particular cadence that it has it's just that music is merely the background the setting of this particular you know poetry session it really does paint this vivid caricature of what the person is meaning to 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 um to convey so i i infer that coyote is a form of a metaphor pertaining to perhaps a relationship that she was involved in um just the way that the song, just the way I was interpreting the lyrics as I as I was hearing them. Yeah, so just you know, a brief synopsis. Of this is just from my brief interpretation. Just what I'm interpreting from the lyrics in this. It's you know, no regrets, kind of. We just come from such different circumstances, uh, sets of circumstances. I'm up all night in the studios, and you're up early on your ranch. So perhaps it's referring to the sort of unrequited love, to where it's a it's a love that just just simply won't work due to the of a circumstantial nature, just to do to a, a difference in in and lifestyles and the way that, that they, you know, you know, operate in life and, and their, their, you know, mechanisms for living. So there's a differentiation in that to where it's, it's there's a disconnect. Um, so again, the coyote is obviously referring to this, this individual, this, that she was involved with romantically. Um, and perhaps the coyote is, is sort of this sort of representation of of his 
the duality of his personality, maybe perhaps saying that he was one way and, and, and maybe perhaps presenting himself to be a different way or internally, externally. Um, yeah, he's got he's got another now he's got a woman at home. He's got another woman down the hall. He seems to want me anyway. Why'd you have to get so drunk and leave me on the way? You just picked up a hitcher, a prisoner of the white lines on the uh, freeway. So it's something about this individual that's a coyote. He's it's mischievous. It's, it's it's he's got a woman, but he's he's still you know wants to be involved with her. So it's this it's this sort of a mirage of these playing. So uh, you know I I enjoy these tropes and these themes with these particular songs, and I do enjoy this as well. And I love the folksy esque um, you know sort of component of this interspersed with the the other. Components of the electric guitar, so it's a, it's a good amalgamation of organic and synthetic to it, if, if I can classify it that way. But um, anyway, man, I, I definitely didn't enjoy this. I want to check out some more Joni Mitchell, man. So you guys have any suggestions? Leave them down in the comment section below, and uh, let me know, and we'll check them out. But I suppose there's nothing else left to say. But um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, visionaries, I simply do you remember I'll say best, never stress, my always always do your very best. Live, love, love life, cause why? Cause life is beautiful. That's why I'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side, baby. Deuces. Ah.